There's nothing a little monkey likes better than playing in the sand at the beach. <laughs> Except for finding seashells. <laughs> Looks like the ocean gave you a present, George. Oh, George, we better hurry. Our tour of the Marine Rehab Center starts in a few minutes. <laughs> George liked having his special shell. But he didn't want it to break. <laughs> hello? Uh -huh. Well, hello! Well, hello! George didn't know he was going to see his friends, Professors Einstein and Pizza. Thanks for inviting us to check out your marine lab. Our pleasure. We love sharing our underwater world with visitors. And we're hoping you'll help us clean the fish tanks later. <laughs> wow. Those are a lot of fish tanks. <laughs> George had never seen an animal with eight arms before. Huh? Why, that's Octavia the octopus. And like all octopuses, she's very smart. George could do a lot with four hands, but what could he do if he had eight? George noticed one of Octavia's arms was short. Hmm. Oh, she's fine. Before Octavia came to us, she must have lost one of her arms. Luckily, she's an octopus, so it's growing back. Oh, huh? wait, what? That's right, an octopus can regrow an arm. Not only that, she can taste with her arms, too. Here, hold this out, George. She's tasting it with her arms, the way you taste with your tongue. Huh? Huh? George wondered what it would be like to taste something with his arms. <laughs> Look, George. Huh? Seahorses. The seahorses were beautiful. Their bright colors reminded George of his shell. Hey. George realized he'd put his seashell on the table earlier. <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> You're looking for your shell? Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, maybe you dropped it somewhere? Uh -uh. But George hadn't dropped it. He'd left it on the table. He was sure of that. Well, it wouldn't be the first thing that's gone missing around here lately. Oh, no. Just yesterday, I left my shoes in the lab, and one of them disappeared, too. <laughs> anyway, don't worry, George. There are lots of shells around here. We'll find you one that's just as nice. But George wanted his shell, the one the ocean had given him. But... Where could it be? <gasps> what was a snake doing in water? <sighs> Maybe the snake took George's shell and then hid out in the fish tank. He can't come out of the tank, George. That's an eel. Huh? Eels are a kind of fish. A long, skinny fish. If the huh. eel couldn't come out of the water, it couldn't have taken George's shell or Professor Einstein's shoe. So where was it? Wow. <gasps> Scallops. See those? Uh-huh. 
It was the perfect afternoon for a trip. George and his friend were going someplace special. <coughs> to see the stars. <coughs> George knew the stars were really, really far away. He wanted to make sure he had everything he needed for the trip. <coughs> including trail mix. If you're going into outer space, it's a good idea to bring a snack. Ready, George? Uh, George, it's not that far to Mr. Griggs's house. You can take a toy and a snack, but let's leave the rest here, buddy, okay? Let's go see some stars. wasn't sure how they were going to see stars in a house. Hmm. Unless they were friends of Mr. Griggs. Ooh. <laughs> see, George? There it is. Ah! It's something, all right. Mr. Griggs built his own observatory. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. And on the perfect night. Let's go on up. George learned Mr. Griggs was an astronomer. He studied the moon and stars and all sorts of other things in space. Oh, that's a picture of a supernova, an exploding star. Do you want to see how I got all these pictures? <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> right this way. Welcome to my observatory. Ah. Amazing. And this is the telescope I use to see the stars. Wow. Ooh. You've come on the perfect night to see something astounding. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? <laughs> oh, allow me to introduce Failsafe. This is the first time I've ever met a monkey. Hello. And hello, tall person wearing yellow. Uh, hi. Failsafe helps me control the telescope. He took all the pictures you just saw. <laughs> I can sense you're confused. It works like this. Say we want to look at the Crab Nebula. We point the telescope toward one teeny tiny area of the sky. You can't see it with your eyes, but our powerful telescope can. And I can snap a picture. Tonight, we'll get a picture of a comet hitting the planet Mars. What's a comet? Oh, I'm glad you asked. It's a giant, giant, giant chunk of ice and dust that flies through space like a snowball. As it nears the sun, some of the ice starts to melt and trails off. It looks like a big, shiny tail. Wow. Wow, indeed. Sometimes comets collide with other objects in space, like the one that will hit Mars tonight. Little monkeys love riding buses. But a ride on the Z-Bus was the best trip of all. Because it ended at... Welcome to Zany Island. 
Say hello to our new friends, Petey. Hello. Oh. How would you like your own, Petey? Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, nice, George. There'll be adventure ahead. And here's a map to keep you on course. George planned on having a great time. And thanks to his map, he wouldn't miss a thing. George and his friend rode fast rides, slow rides, <laughs> Wet rides <laughs> and scenic rides oh. until one by one, George, Petey, and the man with the yellow hat had ridden them all. Too bad they don't come in yellow. Lucky you! You got the last one in your size. We're usually out of stock by this time of day. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Avast, matey! That be your warning shot. Zany Island be cruising in 30 minutes, I say. One more ride? <laughs> so, did you have a good time today, George? What was your favorite part? <laughs> yeah, you sure had fun with Petey. Huh? <gasps> hey, um, where is Petey? D did we leave him behind? I know you're worried about Petey, <laughs> but it's really late. I, I promise we'll look for him first thing in the morning, okay? <laughs> but George didn't want to wait until morning. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't have to. The Z bus ran all night. He can rescue Petey now. Zany <laughs> Island was a big place. Good thing George had kept his map. It showed everywhere he and Petey had been that day. Let the hunt for Parrot Petey begin. But George wondered where to look first. <laughs> Maybe right here. It was the last day of the year, which meant George was busy putting up decorations. Uh-oh. Streamers get away from you again, George? After decorating, there was baking and preparing for guests. Looks like we're all set for New Year's. You're right, George. Tomorrow starts the brand new year. Which means we'll need a new calendar. Ooh, 
will tear off the last number at midnight. And you know what happens then. Yeah. Happy ah, New Year! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think you can really stay up till midnight this year, George? <laughs> well, if you want to be awake at midnight, it might help to take a nap. <laughs> okay, your choice. But you might fall asleep and miss the party like last year. <laughs> George didn't want to miss the party. <laughs> so he decided to give the nap a try. But it was too bright to sleep. Finally, George was ready to fall asleep. George, what are you... <laughs> Trouble sleeping, huh? Uh -huh. You know what my grandmother used to tell me? Uh -huh. If you can't sleep, count sheep. Give it a try. You'll be asleep in no time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One. Two. George needed to count more than one sheep to get sleepy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Luckily, he knew just where to find some. George couldn't tell which ones he'd counted. <laughs> if George wanted to know how many sheep there were, he could only count each sheep once. <laughs> so he asked the sheep to line up. sheep to follow directions was harder than George expected. If only sheep came with numbers. <laughs> George, I thought you were taking a nap. <laughs> okay, have fun with our calendar. Now George could number the sheep as he counted them. <laughs> sheep number one was very friendly. It was a perfect day in the country for a hike. <gasps> Some places in the country were hard to reach. They were worth it. Pretty 
good hiking for a city kid, George. <laughs> We're almost there. The super secret hidden nobody but us knows about in view. <laughs> hey, I'm getting hungry. Sandwich break? on my leg, George. Aww. Maybe if I go slow. <laughs> Ouch! That's not going to work. <laughs> George knew he needed to go for help. <laughs> hey, thanks for the lift, guys. You did a great job getting help for your friend, George. I called your mom, Bill. She's gonna meet you at the hospital. You know, I'm actually looking forward to going there. You are? Yeah. They have the best fruit cup I've ever tasted. It almost makes all this worth it. Hey, George. Would you like to ride in the ambulance with us? <laughs> sure, why not? It's job to give people first aid and bring them to the hospital, George. Right. And the ambulance has all the equipment we need. It's almost like a rolling hospital. You seem to know a lot of people here. Yeah, I've been in the hospital before. Oh, yeah. Broke my arm playing chess. Met everybody. Well, hello, Bill. What happened? Hurt my leg. What was it this time? Checkers? <sighs> Turkey sandwich. <laughs> it's a wristband for the doctors and nurses to keep track of all of us patients. <laughs> Well, Bill, it looks like your leg is broken in three places. Really? <coughs> Bill's leg looked like it was all in one piece. <laughs> you can't see the break on the outside. That's why we radiologists use an x-ray machine. It takes pictures of how you look on the inside. <coughs> George had seen an x-ray before. <coughs> That's right. There are fractures here, here, and here. What happened? Slipped on a turkey sandwich. Of course. I should have guessed. George thought he'd like to have an x-ray machine of his own. Looks like Bill's gonna need a cast so his leg can heal. 